What's up, my pilots? Angry Fox here, we're back playing Spyro 3, You're the Dragon. If you go behind the start of the level, there's actually a whirlwind that will send you to all these places we were seeing in the previous video but couldn't find. I was right, it is a Bentley section. Let's do it! Let's hop right in. Good evening, Spyro! Good afternoon, the Bentley! Amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. Ooh! I've heard that it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show! I must say, Bentley, I find your enumeration quite erudite. <laughs> anyway. Smash boxes! Oh, no, I have to push things out of the way. That's lame. I want to smash the boxes! There's actually a skill point you can get if they're one of these, not one of these boxes, but one of the boxes in Bentley's homeland. If you push it off of the cliff that it's facing towards, you can get a skill point for it. Kind of a silly thing to get a skill point for, but whatever. I probably actually found that one on my own as a kid. It's the sort of thing that I would do. Just fool around on each level take as long as I can. What's up, man? I'm afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. They need a good bonk on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the man to help. Uh, I'm a specialist in bonking things. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But watch out for my friends. They're trying to burrow after them. Go tell them to get out of there so I can hit the moles. Ugh, gnomes. Don't bash the gnomes. You telling me that you're a gnome, dude? That's what these guys are? Gnomes? Oh, damn it. Get... Ugh, I remember these guys from, like, Glimmer or something. Get out of here. Ugh, come here. This is a little bit of a, this control scheme is a little bit strange for this, to be honest. It's like... It's really weird. Ah! There's moles everywhere! It's like a really ugly person's face, just covered in moles! Popping out of the... What the heck just happened there? I think a mole just knocked Bentley into the air. I'm getting a little bit confused here. There's too many moles moving around. I'm trying not to hit the gnomes, me too. If you sort of spin as you swing, you can get a little bit of extra hitbox on where your club is. Oh, hit that guy. Come on, now. Oh, man. It takes him a minute to come out of the ground. Oh, did I hit a mole? What? Well, that didn't do it. See, they've got themselves all worked up into a tizzy. You'll have to try again. I think I ran out of time, didn't I? I don't know. Okay, let's try again. Get a little bit more aggressive. Smash the moles. What a strange minigame. So as you can see, as time goes on, you get more and more holes appearing. Why did he come out? He gets smashed. He comes out and you see a, a freaking Yeti. Damn it! <laughs> well, that didn't do it. Oh, that didn't do it. I mean, I, what do you mean? I don't get a unique dialogue because I smashed your friend on the head? Come on, that should have been something funny for you to say there. Disappointed insomniac. Usually they come up with stuff to put in those sorts of situations. Get out of here. So I'm trying to walk around and sort of get a wider view of the level. What I don't like is when I'm swinging at a mole, and it actually... I end up... Oh, you see when you're on top of a mole hill and a mole comes out? You get knocked into the air, which is really strange. Ah, oh, and one mole got in the way and started to guard his friend. I'm just going crazy now, just smacking moles every which way but loose. Every which way but loose. Is that the, is that the saying? Is that how it goes? <laughs> I'm just lucky there aren't any guys around. Ugh. I have six seconds left. Are you serious? Oh man, are you kidding me? I need one more mole. Oh! Oh, I was instants away from hitting a mole. Come on, I had the club in mid-swing. This shenanigans. <laughs> they should let you finish the animation that you're in. That should count. Yeah, I hit that first guy when he pops his head out. It's kind of tough, though, because when they pop their heads out like that, you don't want to swing too soon and hit a, ma a magician. But it seems easier, actually, to hit them when they're first popping out. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> well, that didn't do it. That didn't do it. Trouble with the moles, eh? These minigames are a little bit crazy. A little bit kind of funny. Get out of there. Oh! The <laughs> you see, I'm trying to be preemptive and hit them before they can hop out of the holes. But that's a little bit of a bad strategy, because you're going to hit the magicians all the time. What can I say? I've been playing like garbage all day today. Get... Oh. <laughs> tell me I'll get credit for that. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell 
when you've hit them and when you haven't. Yeah, I think, I think I actually thought I'd hit that one guy, and then he just hopped out of his hole and ran home. Ran on home. <laughs> it's like a madman. A mole madman. A mad mole man. Now, if they really wanted to get tricky, they should have uh, mole heads pop out of hills, and then have magicians pop out of those same holes. That would be a dirty trick, wouldn't it? Alright, I only need one more. You're him, buddy. Oh, yeah! Well done! And look, one of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. Ooh! Let me guess. It's a baby dragon! Named Hank. He's shaking his head around. Blip. How did you... No, oh, you're not supposed to eat those yourself, man. You're supposed to let your dragonfly companion eat them. I gotta wonder... Is, the, is Sparks the only dragonfly that follows a dragon around? Because in the first game, it would seem that almost like every dragon has a dragonfly. But none of the adult ones have, have one with them that you can see. But in the first game, Magnus and Titan and all the other dragons that you rescue, they tell you things about Sparks as though dragonflies are just a normal thing to have following a dragon around, you know? And it makes me wonder, is, is it like The Legend of Zelda, where Link is the only kid in the forest who doesn't have a fairy, except the reverse, where Spyro is the only dragon who has a dragonfly following him? I'm, I'm a little bit confused about this. Is that a thief in a plane? Let's kick his ass. The problem with this uh, flight power is that it's really freaking slow. Is he going to be able to turn around on a dime in that plane? I wonder. Looks like he's actually faster than us. I'm gonna need to use a boost or something to catch him and flame him. Looks like he's quite a bit faster than us, actually. Probably gonna go right by him here. Yeah, I think I'm in front of him now. It's kind of sad. I gotta spin around and let him get in front of me again. Where did he go? Alright, let's attack the platform. Where are you? Where did he go? I totally lost him. <laughs> there he is. Another boost to that power up. Looks like he's going the other direction now. I might be able to swing around this corner and nail him. Oh, I'm right in front of him. Yeah, or he's right in front of me rather. All right, we rescued the baby dragon. He's a thief, and he's stolen the dragon egg. I gotta get in all these memes while I can. LP is almost over, and I won't be able to say them. I won't have a good excuse to say them after this. Now, I guess the key we need to open that chest is probably somewhere that's accessible via flight. So let's have a look around. That's the chest there. Is it up here? Something just twinkled there. Oh, that's the gem. I want to pick that up one way or the other. Let's see. Maybe Sparks can direct us to an area we haven't been to yet? Yeah, I'll have him be a compass. Okay, he's pointing to the chest there. Are there any other gems in this level, Sparks? <laughs> no! He seems pretty adamant that we should go to that chest. Yeah, he's still pointing at it, actually. You want to point at the key? Oh no, he's pointing up here, too. Okay, let's have a look. Hey! This is new. What's going on up here, guys? Here's another egg. There's all kinds of stuff up here. What's that sound? Ah, here we go. Start up here since it's the highest. Alright, cool. Let's have a look-see. Oh, I love these. I remember these things from the second game. Their whole second game was full of those exploding deals. <laughs> I love it. I love it in the later levels when they give you these exploration rewards. Flying around the level and looking at everything and you find this awesome area with tons of gems. And another baby dragon! Maybe. If I can open it. There we go. <laughs> Come on. What is that sound? Is that an enemy down there doing something? I don't see anybody up here that, that would be making that attacking sound. Yeah, I believe that's what that sound is, at least. Okay, now all we have to do is find our way back to that area without our flight power anymore. The sounds the turtles make in this game are pretty comical. Alright, let's just uh, see if we can move to the level quickly. I think that all the magicians are gone, so I guess the magic things that they do for you throughout the level are just going to automatically be there, so we don't have to save magicians along the way the second time through the level. Just have to go for it. Yeah, you see, here's the flying beavers are surrounded by pink crystals. <laughs> flying beaver adventures, right? The sequel, with, now with giant pink crystals. Alright, let's go open this chest. Maybe this will finish the level for us, too. What you got for me, man? 
Well, he's got lots of gems in him, but still. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice if we had all the eggs or not. Huh, what are we missing here? Um, Sparks, you want to show me the next gem? There aren't any gems here? That's really weird. I don't remember what buttons I need to push for Sparks to point now. I don't know, he's pointing... Is he pointing at something? He's not pointing, he's just sitting there. Okay, um... Well, this is a predicament. Um, I'd like to get back to the beginning of the level where the flying... I don't know if I can make this glide. I can't make this glide. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's not even close. Yeah, I misestimated that one by quite a lot. Oh no! Am I going to appear at the end of the level or the beginning? I'm going to appear somewhere totally different, alright. Oh, I was so hoping I'd land on somebody's head. That would've been great. Well, right, rather on an enemy's head. Get out of here, man. Some flying beavers. More floating crystals! I've, I'm not sure which section of the level I've missed, but if there are more gems and they aren't in this area, we may have missed them in the Bentley section. Let's look at our atlas and see if we have all the eggs for this level or not. We only win, and we're missing a... There are 700 gems here? Holy moly! That's quite a lot! Uh, and we're missing another egg. So we're missing like 200 gems and an egg. Where Where is this huge piece of the level that I'm not finding? I'm actually really confused now. I have no idea what I've missed. We did we did the flying part with the thief. We did the Bentley area. What am I what have I so egregiously overlooked? Let's see. So let's keep our eyes open as we go through the level again. I don't know if the does the end bit have like a door or something in here? It's just the exit portal there. I don't know what this platform is meant to do. Oh! This section obviously. I remember, I remember, we saw this in the previous video, I for, totally forgot it was here. It looks like a supercharge ramp. Oh, it's a slide! Oh, I like these, actually, they're kind of fun. They don't control at all, like Super Mario 64's slides, which makes them tough, but they're fun nonetheless, because you can't control your... Oh, yeah, don't... I just tried to push down on the control stick to slow myself down, but the game read it as, HARD RIGHT! HARD RIGHT! <laughs> so... Don't try to slow yourself down. You're just going to end up wheeling off to one side. So just use the left and right uh, to control your your direction. That's all there is to it here. There are going to be 200 gems on this slide. That would be pretty intense, I think. So you sort of, of course, slide the direction you're facing. So you can whip through these corners. If you go too fast, I don't think we got all of those gems. So there may be some gems we have to come back for. Yeah, I can see how he missed 200 gems. There's a bunch of gold and blue gems on the slide. The part in the middle is probably the hardest. There's not a whole lot of danger at the end here. The slide got a little bit faster, but... Let me slide to a stop! Alright, cool. Actually, that was really fun! Um, I'm very, I'm very pleased with that. But not even I am as pleased as this baby dragon who's sneezing with excitement. It didn't work out like I planned it. <laughs> okay, six of six. Obviously missed some gems on the way down, so we'll pop out, go right back in, and have another go at it. I don't mind going, the, going down this slide more than once. This is fun. Well, I do wish there was a way to slow down, because I'd like to just carefully aim and hit, hit all the gems. Because since you touch a gem, you automatically have picked it up. But if you're going to fly by some gems, you're relying on sparks to grab them up for you. If you fly by too many too quickly, there's one we missed. Sparks won't be able to grab all of them. Looks like we're just missing one red gem now. So let's keep our eyes open. Keep our eyes peeled. I saw that such kind of a weird expression. Peeled? Like, ow! There it is. Alright, awesome. And the level's finished! Cool! That means we only have one level left in this whole game. Holy moly. Well, let's navigate to it. Go back to the home world, shall we? Oh, man. That means... And then once this le next level is done, we'll be done with the game. Because it will have saved all the baby dragons. <laughs> and all of the gems have been collected. And we already have this orb. So, alright, where is... Yes, Dino Mines is the next level that we're going to go into. It's right up here. If I remember correctly, yes, here it is. Dino Mines! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like the title. 
Uh, this video might be a little bit short, but we'll, we'll head into dead, 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 dead minds in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.